Hey there, Primary 3 Math Prodigies. This is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So, I really enjoyed your company yesterday. We did a lot of math. We, did, we got a lot of things right. We got a lot of concepts good. And we are going to test it out right now with the question that I gave to you on Friday. Do you still remember the question on Friday? The question on Friday was, how many eights are there in the sum of one quarter and one half? Oh no, this looks a bit scary, doesn't it? Now, first step, breathe. Take a deep breath in and... Now, the next step is for you to take a look at the things separately. So, the first part of the question asks you how many eights are there? Now, what are eights? Let's find out what eights are first, alright? Eights is exactly what it sounds like. There is an eight in a number. But when there, whenever there is an S at the back, they're asking you for a... Fraction! Good job! They're asking you for a fraction. So in other words, they're asking you how many parts of 8 are there? In other words, 1 over 8. How many 1 over 8s are there in the sum? In other words, you put them together, you add them together. Um, 1 quarter and half. So 1 quarter is looks like this and half looks like this. So they're asking you how many 8s are there in the sum of 1 quarter and half? Ah... Okay, now that might make more sense to you. But first, let me give you the answer. For those of you who are eager to find out what your answer is, to see whether your answer is correct, the answer is 6. A big number 6. If you got it right, give me a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. So, let's discover how to find out what, how many 8s are there in the sum of 1 quarter and a half. But first, let me ask you, have you ever gone to the mama shop? Have you ever, asked, have you ever tried something called roti prata? Ah, roti prata is my favorite food. So I'm going to draw for you a very circular, I'm going to try to make it as circular as possible, a circular roti prata. So imagine you go to the mama shop and you ask for a roti prata. Mmm, so yummy, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> okay, you ask for a roti prata and there are, let's say, um, you want to share it with your brother or sister or if you don't have a brother or sister, maybe a cousin of yours who happens to be there. So you say, Okay, so there are two of us, correct? There are two of us. So how do we split this roti prata up to make sure that we both have equal parts? Very simple. We just divide it by two. So we just take a knife or you just tear it down the line right smack in the middle of the prata. So you cut it out like that and you get one part for your cousin or sister here and one part for yourself. So one here and one here, correct? Good job. So you understand that part. You understand that this is half. So the question asks you, how many A's are there in the sum of one quarter and half? But first, let's find out what one quarter is. One quarter basically means you divide it by how many people? Good job, by four. So let's say instead of one cousin, you now have three cousins or even three sisters and brothers and sisters. I don't know. Okay, now what do you do? All you have to do is divide the prata into how many pieces? Four. Let me teach you a simple trick to make sure that you get four pieces. You just draw another line on the other side of the prata, right? You just tear it apart and you get yourself four equal parts, okay? So now we have how many parts? Let's check. One, two, three, and four. Are we right? Yes, we are right. So let's imagine that, um, let's imagine that you took half. Okay, since you are the biggest sister or the biggest brother there or the biggest cousin there, you took half. Let's use your color as let's use your color as um, black. Okay, so you took half. So let's color which part is it? It's one here. Remember, as you can remember, it's all the way here, right? This is half. And let's say one of your cousins will just take uh, the rest of your cousins will just take one quarter. Okay, take one part out of four. So let's take your color cousin as a pink. Okay. So this is, how many? This is 1 out of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? So yes, we take 1 quarter of it here. Now, suddenly your mom says, Hey, that's not fair. How about we break it into equal parts for me, for you, for your, for your father, your brother, your sister, and everyone else. Let's break it into 8s, your mother says, 8s. So how do we break it into 8s? Let me give you another trick. All you have to do is draw another line across so let's take a look okay let's use a color yes use a color um, let me see let's use the color purple okay and all you have to do is just draw another line across 
Oh no, that's not right. Okay, this line is gonna be a bit crooked, no worries. Okay. Oh yes, let's check how many pins we have. One, two, three. Oh, that's not right. Four, five, six. We have to draw another line across from here to here. And now we have how many eight pieces do we have altogether of Prata? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job! We have eight pieces now. Now the question is, how many eights? If you were to break it up into eight pieces, how many eights are there in the sum of one quarter and half? So as you, let's count how many eights are there. Okay, so in the first case, you have one eight here. So let's draw, let's write one. We have one eights here. Okay, and we have two eights here. And we have, tr oh, I can't see that. <laughs> it's just a yellow. We have three eights here. We have four eights here. We have five eights here. And we have six eights here. So all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six eights. So the question is, how many eights are there in the sum of half, one quarter and half? So the answer is, let's shout it out loud, six. Good job, high five. You are a math prodigy. Now, it's easy for us to draw all this, but how do we write it out? In the exam paper, let me show you how to do it right now. Okay, I'm going to use this very small portion on the left hand side so that I can keep the picture of the Prata for you nicely there. So, how many eights are there in the sum of one quarter and a half? So, first off, you must make sure that you add one quarter plus half. Correct? Now, the bottom parts are not the same. So, in this case, as you can see, if it's half, it will only give you, you, you won't be able to see these purple lines and all that. So what we must do is we must make sure we divide it further. So at the bottom, yes, what we must do is we make sure it looks a bit like an 8. So how would it look like if we were to make both of these look like this? That means there are 8's bottom. Hmm, how do we do that? Do we divide further? Actually, we do. So what we do is we have to times the bottom part, okay? We have to times the bottom part of the fraction to make it look the same. What times 4 gives you 8? Good job, 2. When you times 2 below, you must also times 2 on top. Good job. On the other side, how do you make this 2 look like an 8? We have to times 4. Good job. Times 4 below means you must times 4 on top. Exactly. Good job. Now, 1 times 2 equals to 2. Good job. And 1 times 4 equals to 4. Good job. So 2 plus 4 equals to 6. Now, do we add the bottom parts together? No, because these are 8 parts and these are 8 parts. They are both the same. They are from the same prata, as you can see. Okay. So all we have to do is write the 8 and copy it down below. And hence, the answer is 6 over 8. But the question was not asking you what the fraction was. The question asked you how many 8s are there in the sum of 1 quarter. And hence, you just answer... There are six eights in the sum of, and then you just continue and copy the line. Yes? And that is the answer. Very easy. Easy peasy, this is. Okay, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, now that we got that sorted out, let's do something a little more difficult, shall we? More challenging. Mm, we want to get challenged because we want to grow. So, the question for you is, whoa, that's a big question. <laughs> okay, the question is, let's read it first. Fiona bought 12 goldfish. Ooh, I love goldfishes. Goldfish looks a bit like this. Oh no, the color is it orange, yes? So let's just draw a goldfish that looks a bit like this. And she bought 12 of them. Let's draw an eye here for her. Okay, eye, whoa. She bought 12 goldfish. From the fish farm. She gave half of the goldfish to her brother, two goldfish to her sister, and one of the goldfish that was left died. So sad. What fraction of the goldfish was she left with? Ah, this looks like a very difficult question, but I want you to pause this video, um, write a question down in your notebook, and solve it by yourself. I know you can do it. You've done this before. I know you can. Okay? Now, the key to answering this question is actually the quote of the week. And the quote of the week says... Line by line, the answer is mine. What does that mean? It means if you read the question line by line, you will understand it. See, Fiona bought 12 goldfish from the fish farm. Now stop looking at it. Imagine, imagine Fiona buying 12 goldfish from the fish farm. Then you read the next line. She gave half of the goldfish to her brothers. Now stop. She gave half 
of the goldfish to her brother. So she put it in a plastic bag and she gave half of it away. And then the next line, two goldfish to her sister. Okay, pause. Oh, so she gave two more to her sister. And wait, she gave one more. Oh no, and one of the goldfish died. So sad. So, all right. So now we see the picture in our head. And the question is, what fraction of the goldfish was she left with? And that proves my theory or proves my point that line by line, the answer is mine. Right? With that, I want to give you a high five. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job.